Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Ford scandal far from over. Dash beach friend identity destroys Democrats' big midterm plan, and the Christine Blasey Ford plot thickens. The Daily Caller is now reporting that in a radio interview yesterday, Republican Senator Tom Cotton of Arkansas has now said that he suspects Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer of being involved in the operation by the Democrat Party to leak Christine Blasey Ford's letter to the public. The Arkansas senator said, I believe the Schumer political operation was behind this from the very beginning, on conservative commentator Hugh Hewitt's radio show. As most everyone who doesn't live under a rock knows by now. Ford wrote a letter to Senator Dianne Feinstein's office back in July accusing Justice Brett Kavanaugh of sexual misconduct more than 35 years ago. During the Senate Judiciary Committee hearing in September, Dr. Ford clearly stated she did not authorize the release of the letter, despite it being made public. During the radio interview, Senator Cotton confirmed that he had learned last week that a woman named Monica McLean, who was Ms. Ford's roommate, was one of the so-called beach friends that encouraged Ms. Ford to go to Senator Dianne Feinstein and the partisan Democrats on the Judiciary Committee. Cotton added, It just so happens that Monica McLean worked for Preet Bharara, the former U.S. attorney in Manhattan, now a virulent anti-Trump critic on television and former counsel to Chuck Schumer. Bharara, of course, has attacked President Donald Trump on multiple occasions and even promulgated the case of obstruction against the president. He was also considered to be a protege of the New York senator. Schumer himself. Cotton said he has strongly suspected that Chuck Schumer's political operation knew about Dr. Ford's allegations as far back as July and manipulated the process all along to include taking advantage of the letter even though Ford wanted the letter, and the accusations, to remain confidential. Here is the full text of the letter Dr. Christine Blasey Ford sent to Senator Dianne Feinstein as provided to CNN. The following is the text of the letter Christine Blasey Ford wrote to Senator Dianne Feinstein detailing an event in which she accuses Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh of sexual misconduct. CNN was not provided a copy of the letter sent to Feinstein, but a source who had the letter read the contents of a redacted version to CNN. July 30, 2018 Confidential Senator Dianne Feinstein Dear Senator Feinstein, I am writing with information relevant in evaluating the current nominee to the Supreme Court. As a constituent, I expect that you will maintain this as confidential until we have further opportunity to speak. Brett Kavanaugh physically and sexually assaulted me during high school in the early 1980s. He conducted these acts with the assistance of Redacted. Both were one to two years older than me and students at a local private school. The assault occurred in a suburban Maryland area home at a gathering that included me and four others. Kavanaugh physically pushed me into a bedroom as I was headed for a bathroom up a short stairwell from the living room. They locked the door and played loud music precluding any successful attempt to yell for help. Kavanaugh was on top of me while laughing with Redacted, who periodically jumped onto Kavanaugh. They both laughed as Kavanaugh tried to disrobe me in their highly inebriated state. With Kavanaugh's hand over my mouth, I feared he may inadvertently kill me. From across the room. A very drunk and Redacted said mixed words to Kavanaugh arranging from go for it to stop. At one point when Redacted jumped onto the bed, the weight on me was substantial. The pile toppled, and the two scrapped with each other. After a few attempts to get away, I was able to take this opportune moment to get up and run across to a hallway bathroom. I locked the bathroom door behind me. Both loudly stumbled down the stairwell at which point other persons at the house were talking with them. I exited the bathroom, ran outside of the house and went home. I have not knowingly seen Kavanaugh since the assault. I did see Redacted once at the Redacted where he was extremely uncomfortable seeing me. I have received medical treatment regarding the assault. On July 6 I notified my local government representative to ask them how to proceed with sharing this information. It is upsetting to discuss sexual assault and its repercussions, yet I felt guilty and compelled as a citizen about the idea of not saying anything. I am available to speak further should you wish to discuss. I am currently redacted and will be in redacted. In confidence, redacted. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.